Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show you a mortgage payment calculator, something that I just quickly created on Google Sheets, um, just so I can get an idea of, you know, what a rental property might cost me per month based upon the numbers. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. Looking at the calculator, um, Set this back to one percent. So the first illustration I created was purchasing a property for fifty-five thousand um, dollars. Obviously, this is definitely on the lower end of, for some of the rental properties. Um, but the current interest rates, this is going to vary. Um, currently, it's it's around that. It might be a little bit more for you know investment properties. So like, I'll go ahead and bump that one up to six percent. Um, the down payment, more than likely, it's going to be twenty percent. Um, you know, you have to check with your lender. So that's kind of um, depending on what lender you go with. Um, but typically, if it's considered an investment property, you're going to have to put 20% down to purchase it. Um, the next one is closing cost. Um, right now, I just have it set to 1%. So it's calculating based upon um, the purchase price, 1%. That might be a little bit under um, underestimated. So I'll go ahead and bump it up to 3%. Um, so those are the three or four parameters that you insert, and then that's going to calculate the finance amount. Um, so this is going to calculate 20% of the purchase price plus the closing costs. So that gets you um, correction. This is going to be the net. So after you put 20% down and after you pay closing costs, this is what you're going to end up financing. And then the cash to close is going to be the 20% down payment plus the closing cost. Um, so there might be some more costs in here as well, like escrow, um, title fees, um, obviously um, home insurance, you're going to have to pay for that. Uh, title insurance is another one. Um, depending on your situation, there might be some additional fees in here with that. So do keep that in mind. This is kind of just like a ballpark number just for the cash to close for the down payment plus the closing costs. So that kind of gets you close to where, you know, where you're going to be obviously estimate a little bit higher because there's going to be some additional costs in there. Um, then the 30 year mortgage. So then this calculation will, you know, take the finance amount and take the interest rate and commute a 30 year mortgage payment. So you can see here a $55,000 property putting 20% down. Um, the 30 year mortgage is going to be $253. The 15 year mortgage is going to be $357. So not a huge amount of difference there just because we're financing a pretty small amount. Um, but those are the two options. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make this quick calculator because I'm often looking at rental properties, different investment properties out there. And I kind of just want to quickly reference um, to see, you know, what the cash flow might be to, you know, purchase a property, finance it. Um, obviously, if you're going to do some renovations in here as well, that's a whole nother calculation. Um, but, um, but yeah, so this is just a free calculator that I created. I'll go ahead and throw it in the link down below. Um, and feel free to reach out if you want access to this calculator to use whenever you're researching rental properties as well. Um, all right, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.